All I know, huh? All I know, huh? Get it, get it, get it, get it, huh? Hi, everyone, and welcome to Who Do the Curve, and this is a Robert Ruiz rant. And today, we're going to be discussing quantum immortality. Is death just a cosmic illusion? In the grand theater of the cosmos, where stars parade and black holes gulp down like it's their morning espresso, we find ourselves pondering one of the most perplexing questions of all time. Is death real, or is it just a cosmic prank? Quantum physics, the rebellious teenagers of scientific community, winks at us and suggests that death might be nothing more than an illusion. Imagine that. The Grim Reaper, that dark robe figure with a, with a Sith, could just be an elaborate hologram, a cosmic joke played on us by the universe itself. Quantum mechanics, with its bizarre and often counterintuitive principles, has a knack for making even the most stoic scientists scratch their heads in bewilderment. At its core, it suggests that particles can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon known as superposition. Schrodinger's cat, that poor hypothetical feline, finds itself both alive and dead until someone has the decency to peek into the box. This thought experiment, while seemingly absurd, opens the door to a radical idea. What if our perception of death is just a result of our limited observational capabilities? Enter the multiverse theory, the quantum physics equivalent of an all-you-can-eat buffet. According to this theory, there are countless parallel universes where every possible outcome of every event actually happens. In one universe, you might be a celebrated astronaut. While in another, you're a mime stuck in an invisible box. Now, if we apply this to the concept of death, it gets really interesting. When you die, in one universe, there's a parallel universe where you continue to live. So in a sense, you never really die. You just hop from one universe to another, like a cosmic traveler with a suitcase full of existential quench questions. But let's not stop there. Quantum entanglement. Another jewel in the quantum crown suggests that particles can be instantaneously connected across vast distances. Einstein, with a touch of sarcasm, called it spooky action at a distance. If particles can be so deeply connected, who's to say our consciousness isn't entangled with the cosmos in a similar fashion? Perhaps our minds are like quantum sponges soaking up experiences from one various dimensions. When we die, we merely wring out one sponge and dip another into the boundless ocean of existence. Now, before you start planning your next birthday party in a parallel universe, let's sprinkle a dash of skepticism on the quantum souffle. The idea that death is an illusion, while tantalizing, is still a topic of intense debate. Some physicists argue that these interpretations of quantum mechanics are more philosophical musing than scientific certainties. After all, the universe has a reputation for being a trickster, and it wouldn't be the first time it let us down a rabbit hole of speculation. Yet, the allure of quantum immortality is hard to resist. It's like the ultimate cosmic insurance policy, promising that no matter what happens, you'll always have a backup plan in another dimension. It's the universe's way of saying, don't worry, I've got your back. So the next time you're faced with the grim reality of mortality, just remember, according to quantum physics, death might be as real as a mirage in the desert, a fleeting illusion that dissolves upon closer inspection. In the end, whether death is an illusion or not, one thing is certain, quantum physics has given us a lot to think about. It's challenged our understanding of reality, poked fun at our rigid perception and invited us to see the universe as a playground of infinite possibilities. So let's embrace the mystery, laugh at the absurdity, and continue our quest for answers in the wonderful, weird, and wacky world of quantum mechanics. After all, in a universe where anything is possible, who's to say what's real and what's just a cosmic joke? Thank you for listening to 
Who Threw the Curb. Don't forget to like us. Don't forget to share us. Thanks. No letting up. I know, I know. Time to step it up. Go hard, too hard. All I ever know. Turn on my heart. When it get dark, stone my squad. Ain't no fear inside. Might go in the tech. Where you from, huh? Refund check. Blow it.